So this student was valedictorian of his senior year of high school, but didn't get a full ride scholarship. The student was also the top of their class, but didn't get a full ride scholarship offer. However, this student with a 2.1 GPA in high school got a full ride scholarship. There's also this student who had a 0.7 GPA during her freshman year of college and later notified me that she ended up winning $100,000 in scholarships as a current college student. Now you're probably wondering how exactly does this happen? Well, the short answer is strategy over stats. And with this video, I will be talking all about that. Let's get into it. Hey there scholars and welcome to my channel ESP Daniela, your go-to resource for education, scholarships, and professional development. I'm Daniela and today we're diving into an exciting topic for those with average stats but have big dreams on how to get into top schools with scholarships. So if you're ready to unlock the gates and secure scholarships at top schools, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join me on Instagram and TikTok for additional advice. Now when you are aiming for top schools, it's important to remember that admissions committees are not solely focused on your grades and test scores right they want to get to really know your unique story passions achievements and so forth so take the time to reflect on your experiences interests and personal growth showcase your extracurricular activities leadership roles community service and any notable accomplishments that you may have your unique story can make a compelling case for why you belong at that particular school even with average statistics now this may sound a bit off topic here but i want for you to bear with me so think of the film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, right? So Charlie ended up winning the factory because of his personality and how humble he was in comparison to the entitled or more accomplished kids he was competing against. And when it comes down to these applications for college admissions and scholarships, more times than none, when I review over them for students with my services, such as for those who have been rejected before and need to understand why that is, their writing, the tone of it just comes across as entitled to win or a title to get into that school. So instead, you want to try to be the underdog like Charlie that gives off a different type of energy with your overall application. Also, feel free to download my free financial aid and student success toolkit, which can be found down below in the description box. Both toolkits, they have various templates and guidelines to help you with your overall process. And if you are eager to discover my step-by-step -step process to winning scholarships, 30 in total between undergrad and grad school, as well as how I got like all expenses paid internships and all these other competitive opportunities then i invite you to explore my comprehensive resources such as my book the scholarship algorithm and my program by the same title and i have had over the years so many students win a lot of money from these resources so if you're needing a step-by-step -step system to drastically increase your chances of getting scholarships anywhere from five to ten times more as well as getting into those schools then i highly recommend for instance that student i mentioned at the beginning of the video who was valedictorian of his senior class but didn't get a full ride scholarship well during his sophomore year of college he came across what i specialize in and read my book and ended up winning a hundred three thousand dollars in scholarships and then i had a mother and son within my program her son was able to win over two hundred forty six thousand dollars in scholarships so again make sure to check those out if you would like to and that will all be linked down in the description box down below but moving forward here now while your average stats may not be outstanding it's essential to demonstrate academic improvements and potential. So showcase an upward trajectory in your grades and a commitment to personal growth that can impress admissions committees. And also take advantage of opportunities to challenge yourself academically, such as advanced external courses, research projects, online platforms, and so forth. And by showing how you're going above and beyond to improve outside of the classroom, you can prove that you are ready to excel at top schools. Now let's talk about crafting a stellar application essay. So your application essay or application video is a powerful tool for expressing your uniqueness and capturing the attention of admissions officers. So use this opportunity to tell your story, convey your passions, and articulate your aspirations. And by crafting a compelling narrative that showcases your character, values, and personal growth, this can greatly increase your chances of getting scholarships, of getting into your schools, because a lot of people have great stats, right? Whether they're a valedictorian, like that student mentioned earlier but not everyone knows how to write in a way that can really resonate with their reader and make their overall application more memorable and tying back to what I said earlier with scholarship videos I want for you guys to take for example this student showed earlier so he applied
applied for the Dr. Pepper scholarship, which is one of the most competitive in the world, by the way, with over 100,000 students competing for it almost every single year. However, he ended up winning it worth $100,000. And what exactly helped him? Well, there's specifically a section in my book and even greater detail within my program that is catered towards talking about video applications. So if you are interested yet again in checking out my book or program, that will be linked down below. So next up we have is to use specialized scholarships and programs that are designed to support students with various backgrounds and achievements. So I want for you all to research and explore scholarships or schools specifically tailored for students with average stats, but welcome other exceptional qualities such as relating to industry experience, volunteering, artistic abilities, and so forth. Also keep in mind many scholarships do not, I repeat, they do not require your GPA or test scores all the time. For instance, some of the scholarships that I personally give out. So take the time to research these type of scholarships or even schools that don't typically require certain stats and shoot your shot. Also keep in mind in some cases, not all of course, but some, you can negotiate to be eligible. So let's say you are 80 to 90 percent eligible for a scholarship but don't have the GPA or test scores they are looking for well in that case try to reach out to them and ask if you can still apply this is what I did for several scholarships that I actually ended up winning and one of which was this scholarship from future the really famous rapper from his foundation which also came with free concert tickets and one of the rappers on that tour was Meg the Stallion and I'm still upset till this day that I showed up late and missed her performance so that's off topic anywho there you you have it. So guys, remember your potential and determination can potentially outweigh your numbers on a transcript or test score sheet. Now, before we wrap up, don't forget to check out my free financial aid trainings listed down below in my description box. And if you're ready to take action and discipline yourself with this overall scholarship process, college admissions process, then consider joining my 14 day application challenge. More details about that can be found in my description box down below. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Follow my socials if you haven't already on Instagram and TikTok and give this a thumbs up and share it with somebody you know. That's it. Bye.